understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis's courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life, and quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Alors, salut tout le monde, c'est Shirelle. On se retrouve donc pour la suite de The Concile. Je pense qu'on est toujours au niveau du colloque du chapitre 8 et au niveau d'épisode 3. Donc là, on peut euh, s'équiper de 3 livres. Alors, euh, on va prendre étiquette. Hein. Je pense que ça peut être bien. Interrogatoire, érudition. Interrogatoire. En agilité. On a encore deux, deux bouquins. En diversion. On met ça. On va mettre ça. Je pense que c'est pas mal. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Tell me, my lord, can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. I wanted to thank you for your support during the conference. You've made the right choice, and it gives me tremendous satisfaction to have you with me on this project. What is at stake is worth it, my lord. Now, I won't hide from you the fact that I have no idea by what miracle we could ever get a unanimous vote. Trust me, Louis. We still have a few more cards to play. You'll see. Anything can happen in politics. I'll see you later, my lord. Retournons dans notre chambre.
Faut savoir que je ne sais jamais où est ma chambre dans ce jeu. Hein. C'est tellement immense. On n'a pas fini encore hein, le colloque apparemment. On verra ça de toute façon là, je pense. Le but étant que je trouve ma chambre. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Piaggi. C'est chez moi. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. Now. Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Retrouver Emily. Alors, je ne sais plus où elle crèche, la demoiselle. Donc là, c'est Godoy, hein, normalement, ouais. Emily, 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 avant qu'elle s'entretue. <rire> Excusez-moi. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. Blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. Emily. Emily, are you there? Answer me. Emily. On trouve un moyen de rentrer. Oh là là. Par les balcons. Une porte adjacente. Qui c'est qui aurait là Qui c'est ici Napoléon. Par les balcons de Napoléon. Je peux pas rentrer là. Ça serait trop simple, hein. Ah, peut-être. I have to get inside Emily's room through the shit. It's locked. On a bien fait de, de mettre tous nos points d'accroche d'âge à la serrure, hein. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? What on earth is you, mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. 
I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait! What's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... D'en face. On the wharf, something happened to me. What was it? A malaise. The moment you arrived, you felt ill, and I offered to help while Piaggi went up. And you turned me down flat. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Before going to bed, I, I went for a stroll. Did we speak to each other during that stroll? You must be mistaken. After going up to bed, I went straight to sleep. But she knows all that, Louis. I already told her. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's putting one over on you! Look at yourself for crying out loud! You were prepared to shoot me down! In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Je sais pas. <laughs> Je sais pas quoi mettre. Before going to bed, we found ourselves in an odd situation. You surprised me searching through Mortimer's secret gallery behind the chimney. You were looking for clues about your mother. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. 
Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night, and that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirt! That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go. Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. What? What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it! Now what's going on? Retrouvons notre mère dans la crypte du jardin. Il y a un garde macabagé, un macabé là. Ok. Ça n'a pas l'air de gêner quiconque. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room. She isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you.
comment je suis allée au jardin tout à l'heure C'est une bonne question. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Putain, mais comment je suis allé dans les jardins tout à l'heure I don't understand. 
understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friend, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis' courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Alors, salut tout le monde, c'est Chirel. On se retrouve donc pour la suite de The Concile. Je pense qu'on est toujours au niveau du colloque du chapitre 8 et au niveau d'épisode 3. Donc là, on peut euh, s'équiper de 3 livres. Alors, euh, on va prendre étiquette. Je pense que ça peut être bien. Interrogatoire, érudition, interrogatoire, en agilité, on a encore deux, deux bouquins, en diversion, on met ça, On va mettre ça. Je pense que c'est pas mal. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Tell me, my lord, can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. I wanted to thank you for your support during the conference. You've made the right choice, and it gives me tremendous satisfaction to have you with me on this project. What is at stake is worth it, my lord. Now, I won't hide from you the fact that I have no idea by what miracle we could ever get a unanimous vote. Trust me, Louis. We still have a few more cards to play. You'll see. Anything can happen in politics. I'll see you later, my lord. Retournons dans notre chambre.
savoir que je ne sais jamais où est ma chambre dans ce jeu. Hein. C'est tellement immense. On n'a pas fini encore hein, le colloque apparemment. On verra ça de toute façon là, je pense. Le but étant que je trouve ma chambre. Euh, aïe, aïe, aïe. Piaggi. C'est chez moi. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Retrouver Emily. Alors, je ne sais plus où elle crèche, la demoiselle. Là, c'est Godoy, hein, normalement, ouais. Emily, Emily, Emily. Avant qu'elle s'entretue. <rire> Excusez-moi. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. Blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. Emily. Emily, are you there? Answer me. Emily. On trouve un moyen de rentrer. Oh là là. Par les balcons. Une porte adjacente. Qui c'est qui aurait là Qui c'est ici Napoléon. Par les balcons de Napoléon. Je peux pas rentrer là. Ce serait trop simple, hein. Ah, peut-être. I have to get inside Emily's room through the shit. It's locked. On a bien fait de, de mettre tous nos points dans le crochetage à serrure, hein. Faut-il trouver maintenant euh... hmm. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you are the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? What on earth is you, mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. 
I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You pretty little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait! What's got an entire life for this? Go on, shoot! Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way! I am not Emma! Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... S'adresse à la jumelle d'en face. On the wharf, something happened to me. What was it? A malaise. The moment you arrived, you felt ill, and I offered to help while Piaggi went up. And you turned me down flat. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Before going to bed, I, I went for a stroll. Did we speak to each other during that stroll? You must be mistaken. After going up to bed, I went straight to sleep. But she knows all that, Louis. I already told her. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I'd better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Je sais pas. <laughs> Je sais pas quoi mettre. Before going to bed, we found ourselves in an odd situation. You surprised me searching through Mortimer's secret gallery behind the chimney. You were looking for clues about your mother. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. 
Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night, and that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty- That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything alright? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go. Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. What? What are you doing there? Stop! Now what's going on? Retrouvons notre mère dans la crypte du jardin. Il y a un garde macabé, un macabé là. Ok. Ça a pas l'air de gêner quiconque. God, they're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room. She isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. What is outside on the island, exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. 
May I help, sir, in any other way? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir another question? Honey, the remedy of the gods. Louis, at last there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough! I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only, Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? 
Have they got horns and a, a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error. An error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Bolner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Mother, I shan't follow you down that path. I wouldn't be doing you any favors. Rational and open, Louis. Tell me then, how can anyone own properties all over the world for centuries, always having signed documents with the same signature? Well, I can find ten other explanations less eccentric than demonic possession, Mother. How come the Mortimers have had only one male heir for each generation since the Third Crusade? Forgery, family rights, where they get rid of the daughter, there are dozens of less extravagant possibilities. How could one man motivate so many future leading figures of the day on his silly island without anyone finding out about it? Even the Golden Order isn't capable of that! Well, he's simply better than us, and he's welcome to it. You refuse to open your eyes, Louis. You've lost your objectivity, Mother. I saw him. What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before, developed well before Sumerian in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him, or rather he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me, but I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis? 
You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to- it's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis. But I had to try everything. Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the Order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. 
I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, the Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Eh ben dis donc, que d'affaires, ça prend des tournures avec des démons, etc. Enfin, euh, donc on a fait le face-à-face, -face, l'épisode euh, de... c'est le chapitre 9 de l'épisode 3. Alors on a réussi à passer par la chambre de Napoléon Bonaparte sans, sans laisser de traces, on a protégé l'une des deux jumelles. Je suis allée voir euh, l'attroupement de la chambre de Lady, on n'a rien raté ce coup-ci. On aurait eu une alternative, c'était d'être témoin de la résolution de Napoléon. On aurait pu discuter avec Piaggi de ses motivations. On aurait pu apprendre quelque chose sur Alasif. Et on aurait pu passer par la chambre de Jacques Pérou pour aller sur le balcon. On avait plusieurs possibilités. On verra ça dans, le, ben, dans la suite des événements, tout simplement. Je vous fais plein de bibi, plein de zouzou, puis on se retrouve pour la suite des aventures de The Concile. Je pense qu'on va passer au chapitre 10, je n'en suis pas sûre. Mais en tout cas, plein de bibi, plein de zouzou, on, sera, on se retrouvera donc pour la suite du Let's Play. Bye bye